basically this already earlier on in the engineering steering committee. I've been repeating myself uh, quite a bit over the last uh, few days. But anyway, um, yes. So after the .UI conversion stuff is complete, there will be very little left in the existing bit, existing SRC file format. What it means is basically strings, string lists, images, and image lists. So the question is, should we continue to go from the .SRC file to the PO file format, back into a whole bunch of other file formats, and then back into the final binary .RES file format, if all we're doing is basically transporting strings around the place to be translated? So at the URL there, there is the area worked by Anne Rash who's looking into this, and the line at the time there was that the size of the current PO files is approximately that of the .RES files. That may not be actually true, so we may have to think about that a bit more. But if we assume that we can keep the size about the same, then the process of how we would do it would be we would take all the existing translations we have in the .src file, move them back into the .cxx file, so that developers can see from reading the source code what the string actually is, instead of having a little uh, enumeration or a hash to find that you then have to look up on the SRC file to see what the content is, it will be right there in your .cxx. We do some markup, like you get from a standard get text, maybe an underscore, perhaps something else, and then as a developer you no longer have to read what the uh, translation actually is, it's in a different view. Use the standard X get text uh, application to extract translations from that PO file. Uh, that already has support for .ui files already, that already exists. Uh, such a standardized format would allow uh, Deckard, which gives you an in-place view of what you're translating when you are translating something that's based in a .ui file format. Your translators will be able to see in the website what they're translating. Then use a standard uh, .po to .mo process, which then leaves how we load the resulting translations. Uh, get text itself isn't licensed properly, but Boost does have a boost.local, which comes with a, um, a loader for the uh, MO file format and icon, icon V placement, which is apparently suitably licensed and supportably thread safe. We'd use that instead. That would then mean that the entire RSC directory could be deleted. Uh, hopefully, quite a large amount of the L10 directory could go as well, the conversion tools from one to the other. And then all the parts of tools that involve the res manager could all go away as well. And a lot of that res manager stuff has got some very nasty life cycles where it all gets deleted on application exit, which causes all sorts of uh, complications in the static analysis tools. So we could replace all of them with some new and more exciting ones that would have similar problems from Boost and Local. But at least there is the possibility that because it is used by Blender, which is a large application, that it would be suitable for a large application like our own. Okay.